Okay, today we're going to be looking at how to create a gallery of images to place on your Moodle course page so that the learners can see them as a selection of thumbnails rather than individual image files. Uh, one way to do this is to collect all your images in a folder and use something called the Lightbox uh, Gallery tool. You'll find that if you add an activity or resource uh, down at the bottom of the list, you'll find Lightbox Gallery. So if you give that a, a tick and add it, what it does first of all, it gives you a little form to fill in. So you need to name your gallery of images. I'm going to call this button images because I have a selection of buttons. I'm just going to copy the same description in there, but you can obviously write a little bit more. I'm not going to change anything else here, but you do have some options. You can tell it how many images you want in each row. You, know, you could have four or five, two, three, however many you like. Okay. Uh, you can also display captions. I'm just going to go down to the bottom though and uh, tell it to save and return to the course page for me. And what we can see there is we now have a, a link to my button images but of course I haven't uploaded the images yet. What I need to do now is just click that link and it's going to give me the option here to add the images. Before I can do that I need to make sure that my folder, and I've got it here, I need to make sure it's a zipped folder. Uh, rather than a, a standard folder like this. So I'm going to right click I'm going to uh, send it to a compressed zipped folder. So we now have the little folder with the zip image, so we know it's a zipped folder. And if I add the images, what I can actually do, because I'm in Firefox, remember Internet Explorer has a problem at the moment in that you can't use the drag and drop feature in Moodle. So uh, I'm going to take my zipped folder and I'm going to drag it in, because I'm using Firefox, so I can do that. And it's going to upload that for me. It'll take just a moment, it depends what size uh, your files are, how many there are, uh, and then I'm just simply going to add the images. You can force it to resize, but I'm, I'm just going to leave that switched on. I can disable that if I want to, but I'm going to leave it as it is. And there we are, you can see that it has added those images. Um, they're on the page. Each image, side by side, I think I'd said uh, two per row, so they're all in there. I'm not showing any captions on my images, but that's fine. Now, if I just go back to the main course page, what the learner then sees is they see the link to the images. There we are, our button images, and when they click, uh, they see the images displayed nice and quickly, nice and easily uploaded, not having to do it one at a time.